So you're thinking of moving to or living in Colorado, but you're wondering because you haven't spent considerable time here, what the culture is like. It can be difficult to get a feel for the culture in a place. Even if you visit for a short time, you need to be there for a while, I think, in order to get a feel for the culture. So we're gonna to cover today eight things you should be aware of, reference Colorado's culture before you live or move here. Because you don't know what you don't know, so let's check it out. connect with people just like you every day to help them discover where to live and invest in real estate and sell property for top dollar when the time is just right for them to sell. My name is Leif Jacobson. I'm an ex-cop turned realtor, also known as Safe Leif. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe so you're first to learn about all things Colorado real estate. Hey, I'm excited you're here. Please text, call, or email. My information and contact information is below. Text, call, or email and I would love to hear from you or book a calendar appointment and I will reach out to you, whatever works best. So we're covering the eight things you should be aware of when considering Colorado's culture on or before moving here. The first thing I wanted to give you a little flavor on is Colorado's political landscape, kind of technically and by the stats before you get here. Colorado historically is a swing state, but it's trending demographic. So there's a demographic governor, two demographic US Senators and the majority demographic is U.S. representatives. In urban areas like Denver and Boulder, you know, lean on the liberal side. Colorado Spring, Springs, Grand Junction, and most rural areas tend to be most conservative. I think that's a pretty universal paradigm in whatever state you're in. The second thing to be aware of in Colorado about its culture is the music scene. Colorado boasts impressive open air music venues. The Red Rocks Amphitheater offers breathtaking views and top tier music acts from all around the world. Telluride has the Fred Shellman Memorial Stage amid stunning mountain scenery. Telluride's a super high end ski area in the wintertime and hiking and mountain biking area with lots of stars that have places in Telluride. You know, people like Oprah Winfrey, Tom Cruise, now there's a number of people with super high-end luxury mansions there. Vail's Ford Amphitheater combines music with natural beauty. And in Colorado Springs, there's an amphitheater they just broke ground on. It's a $40 million project. It's called the Sunset Amphitheater. So it's not done yet. This is recorded in 2023, so it's not quite complete yet. Once it's completed, there's gonna be 50 shows a year. It's gonna seat 8,000 people, and it's designed around 90 fire pits. It's the most luxurious amphitheater ever built in the entire world. It is going to be an outstanding feature for Colorado Springs. The third cultural heads up in Colorado is the sports culture. Colorado has teams in all four major sports. Broncos, the football team, Nuggets basketball, Avalanche ice hockey and the Rockies baseball team. Championships won by Broncos and Avalanche. The Nuggets are defending their NBA championship. And college sports, there's a rivalry between Colorado University, Colorado, Colorado Springs University, and the Air Force Academy. Pretty much excels in several other sports. They have a very high level of competition and they tout themselves on that. The fourth thing to be aware of that affects Colorado culture is the marijuana culture. <laughs> Good or bad, depending on who you are and what your opinions are, I'll line out a couple things there. So Colorado legalized recreational marijuana in 2012 for adults over 21 years old. The tax revenue, which is massive from marijuana sales, benefits public schools, ironically. <laughs> some crime rates have decreased and some crime rates have increased, depending on the type of crime you're talking about since legalization of marijuana. So know the rules if you smoke, don't break the law. There's restrictions around where you can smoke. It's not available in all locations and growing laws help regulate production and keep everybody safer as well. The fifth thing to be aware of in Colorado's culture is the alcohol scene. Colorado ranks fifth in the United States as far as breweries per capita. It's a high number of craft breweries, 348 to be exact. And the thriving craft beer industry is all throughout the state. In Colorado Springs, where I'm from, there are nearly 40 breweries in Colorado Springs craft beer. So it's definitely a thing. The reason behind so many breweries dates back to the old gold rush days. Beer didn't travel or store well. 
and they force breweries to make their stock locally based and on demand. Colorado's wine country also is very prominent on the west side of Colorado. The sixth cultural thing to be aware of in Colorado is the massive population growth. Colorado has a huge influx of people moving here. I work as a realtor, of course, and work with lots of folks from Texas, California, lots of Western folks that are moving to Colorado specifically, just like I did. Colorado's population grew by over 20% from 2010 to 2020. The growth slowed a little bit in 2021 and 2022, but despite the growth, Colorado remains 37th most popular state and the eighth largest state by land area. The seventh thing to be aware of that affects Colorado's culture is age demographics. Colorado is one of the youngest states. The median age in Colorado is 37 years old. However, fast growing age group is 65 and older. So there's plenty of baby boomers in Colorado as well. Percentage of zero to four year olds has actually decreased since 2010 and Coloradans are also well educated in general. Young population plus high education equals competitive job market. There's lots of business and professional and nonprofit growth throughout Colorado, especially Colorado Springs, which has hundreds of nonprofit companies that just happen to have descended and based there. Make sure you have a job lined up before moving to Colorado. The eighth cultural consideration that we'll bring to light today is Colorado's economy. Colorado has one of the nation's strongest economies per capita. Notable in innovation, economical activity, and overall economic vitality. Key industries include software development, agriculture, biochemistry, tourism, farming, aerospace, and mining. It's a strong military presence throughout Colorado. Just Colorado Springs alone has five military bases and is a hub for the U.S. Space Force. So those are eight things to be aware of reference Colorado's culture and a few stats and tidbits that you wouldn't necessarily know uh, unless you lived here or really researched it a bit. So that's what I want to do is open people's eyes, give people kind of an experience to help get the flavor of all things Colorado in various locations. If you're considering moving or living in Colorado, that's what I want to help people understand before you get here because you don't know what you don't know and it's helpful to know what you don't know. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I look forward to connecting with you on the next one. Let me know if there's other topics and what other things you'd like to see me cover. I'm happy to research those and put those out in more videos. This is all about authenticity for me. I'm a very relational realtor and it's all about being a resource to folks, not pressuring them into anything ever, but just being a resource so they can make the best decision for them, reference where they want to live and how they want to roll in Colorado. Hey, we'll see you on the next video.